this video is sponsored by PokedownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Are you looking for that last card to complete your deck or just to get the latest booster pack in town on TCGO? Well, they have everything. Use the coupon code ZAPLUSTCG and get 5% off your next order. Also, this video is sponsored by CardsMarket.com. This is a European platform where you're able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day and you can get uh, booster packs, even old school cards like this cool Mr. Mime over here so be sure to check it out on cartmarket.com last but certainly not least is going to be yourplaymat.com this is a website where you're able to create your own unique custom playmat get your own unique custom playmat right now by clicking the link in the description below or using the coupon code zablowistcg 10 yp and get 10% off your order when creating your own unique custom playmat for the new season anyhow thanks for sticking around on the commercials I'll see you guys very shortly peace What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. On this channel you get daily Pokemon TCG content, so uh, if you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You're gonna get uh, all the new and latest deck lists in town. Today, Victini VMAX up on the menu. Big shout out to Study from Australia, getting 21st out of 336 players in the late night series 6. So, huge tournament, Victini VMAX did reasonably well and uh, for now we're just checking out what the fuss is all about. Uh, of course, with a rotation happening, no GXs are uh, in the format anymore, that's good news because Victini hunts down V Pokemon, you still have 220 damage on V and VMAX Pokemon which is awesome. You have Victini V which can also use energy burst for a little bit of damage but more importantly, you're gonna be having of course this out on the second turn and then gusting up Pokemon V that want to evolve and uh, you're gonna be winning the games so quickly. You have Crushing Hammers as well as uh, the Rocked Helmet. If you get damage you can return an energy attached to the active Pokemon in their hand. You have Team Yelgrunt and as well as the Fan of Waves to put special energies on the bottom of their deck. So super disruptive if you go second, if you go first. The only thing you're uh, yeah thinking about is just uh, having Victini V, attaching an energy to it, having Pokegear, Pokegear finding balls and you just win games very, very quickly. You have Path to the Peak also shutting down rule box Pokemon abilities so no longer you have to worry about oh the opponent's gonna go for Crobat V and finding some more stuff. That's not gonna happen with Path to the Peak. Also stuff like Underworld Door and Shadow Rider decks completely shut down so we're gonna see how good Victini VMAX actually is if you're hyped for Victini VMAX be sure to let me know by destroying the hell out of the like button it only takes a second of your time and I appreciate it quite a little bit so uh yeah that's the best way to support the channel it's free easy to do so and uh, let's just get the show on the road opponent having a Bidoof coin so I really don't know what to expect with Victini VMAX Victini VMAX only has Victini V as its starting Pokemon, so uh, what could go wrong, right? You never have a, a bad opening Pokemon. The problem is the opponent probably will get bazillion mulligans because you only have four Pokemon in your opening, uh, four in your deck. That means your opening hands do not contain a, a basic Pokemon too often. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> well, this is a broken hand. Like, imagine this. You go first, you attach, you slap down Pat to the peak, and you already have Boss and Victini in hand. That is a busted hand in my book. Well, 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 I don't know if they will have access to uh, Fan of Waves or anything, but just in case, I'm just gonna slide down Pat to the peak, getting an energy over here, and uh, yeah, let's just be done with it. We're gonna be attaching the Heat Fire Energy in the next turn anyhow, so let's hope he, he doesn't Marnie, otherwise our uh, Great Hand goes down the drain. And I really don't know what we're up against, like a bunch of level balls up here. That indicates that they're playing the Intellion engine. Uh, it could be Dragapult, it could be Urshifu, it could be Leafeon, it could be anything. So I'm just waiting it out. It could still be Jolteon as well. I'm wondering, he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. Ridiculous. And now we're gonna be seeing it's Escape Rope. So I think Urshifu is a. Oh, it's Suicune! Suicune the house. So we are weak to uh, water, by the way which is super scary. Scoop up net, putting the Squeakoon on top again, drawing a card, and a Marty, no, the Marty, we had a perfect opening hand. Well, sometimes that happens. We, oh, it's good. We still have Evolution and Sense. I think Squeakoon only dishes out uh, a max damage output of uh, 120. If we don't have a, a bench, uh, we don't have a bench at all. This is gonna be good. So we're up against the water deck. So attachment onto Suicune. We haven't seen uh, Melanie just yet, which is good. 
I am not too worried about this. I'm gonna put the heat fire energy. Having more HP is better than ever before. We're gonna go for evolution incense. Getting that fella out of the deck. He only has two cards in hand, by the way. I don't know if we should use the, the Marnie already. Maybe we Poke Gear and, and see what we have here. If we have Boss's Orders, it's good. Yeah, we're gonna take that Boss's Orders. And then uh, we're gonna knock down the upcoming uh, Suicune V instantly. So let's just go with the max victory. And the first Suicune hits the discard pal. Uh, there's a, a, a Victini which can survive one of these hits of the... Uh, <laughs> look at all these energies that we're getting. This uh, Blizzard Rondo only slaps a little bit of damage. He only has three cards in hand. Maybe he marnied himself into a bad hand. And they just concede. Victini even winning against water type decks. Now I've seen everything. So as you can see, we don't need to do a lot of stuff, right? Just need to get a Victini VMAX out, and then uh, even if he had like uh, some energies attached to some of Pokemon on the bench, we just gust him up and knock him out, or we use Crushing Hammer. And the Tool Jammer also makes sure that stuff like Cape of Toughness doesn't come in our way. So that was a very quick uh, victory for Victini VMAX, but typically the, the games go very quickly with Victini. We're gonna see the other side of the story when we go second. So now we need to rely on... <laughs> Look at this hand! Tishigio, you're drunk, go home. You are entirely drunk. So we already gotten the victory out like in like uh, four, four minutes. That's insane. Come on, give us a great hand to work with. Yeah, that's not too bad. We have Team Yalgrunt to slow the opponent down. And don't have bosses orders though. <clears throat> Which like the main issue here. Ooh, dang it. It's the Rilladon. The, 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 the Rilladon. Okay, this guy already has two energies attached. That's utterly crazy. We cannot attach special energies, so we need to go for... Yeah, Team Yalgrunt, just get that energy back, will ya? Let us not kid ourselves. We quick bull away a fire energy. We go for a Victini number two. And uh, we go for the attachment and go for the one and only Spreading Flames. And yeah, that's also something you can do with this Victini. Now we have two Victini set up. Hey, hey. And this guy needs a lot of things. He needs like, he only has two energy. So the, the roll on VMAX is not going to be too impactful, I think. And this is great. Okay, Marnie. At least we were running uh, three Victini VMAXs as well as four Evolution Incense, as well as four Poke Gear, as well as four Research and... <laughs> Dang it. What is this? What is this? We can of course use Fan of Waves, putting a... Yeah. How are we even getting Marnit into this hand? Oh, an, an Intrepid Sword, huh? No energies, that's fine. Come on! Okay, Victini VMAX top deck. We cannot attach a special energy, by the way, because of this annoying Gerulodon, but I don't care. I utterly don't care. So let's put this aside. Tool Jammer and uh, this fella as well. So Victini VMAX is here to shine. We're going to be putting the uh, energy on the bottom of the deck. And Victini VMAX activate with max victory. Let's hope we top that Pokegear or Bossors or whatever so we can hunt down that Zacian. <laughs> These are the baddest energies I've ever seen. Definitely against the Rilladon because the Rilladon of course has the Skyscraper. We cannot attack him if we have special energies and uh, unfortunately we do have those special energies. The Rilladon number two. At least we are hitting those for weakness, so uh, yeah. Crushing Hammers and Fan of Waves do help out. Boss's orders on this guy. Well, we do slap. We can attach Retreat, that's an option, I guess. That's an option, so we can knock out the Zacian, take two prize cards again. Maybe find some Disruption cards. The only thing we need to do is, like, he doesn't have Bronzong up in play. He's doubting, he has energies. Or, yeah, he's not attaching them, it's fine. Come on. Capture Energy. Well, this is interesting. We can go for Capture Energy. And then Retreat. Yeah, make, tin out the deck. Yeah, that's what we're doing here. We tin out the deck. Retreat. Victini VMAX. It's time to shine again. Max Victory. Pff, we're just going through all these V Pokemon. It's nice and easy. <laughs> Energies! Where are our cards? Pats in the peak as well. Well. At least we have an energy so we can attach to the Victini here. With three energies, the energy burst also is gonna do an impactful damage output. Evolution Incense. Two Gerildon VMAX against the world. Okay. It's fine. 
G Max Pulverization, 220 damage. Our Victini V Max is in a deep amount of trouble. So Victini here, pat to the peak on top of a Marnie. Sounds like a great plan to me. Let's go. Okay, we have Pokey Gear. <laughs> we have Quick Ball. We're probably gonna go for research anyhow, or Balthazar's if he wants to retreat. So this is actually not a bad hand at all. We already have what we need, so. <sighs> Quick Ball is a card we don't want to see anymore, but it's fine. Let's go for Max Victory. Activate. Gotcha! 220. He still needs to go to two Victini V Maxes, and this guy looks pretty grim. Pretty grim. We can just simply attach here and then gust him up. Or maybe he. Okay, there's a Bronze Ore. Attachment going on to the Rildon V Max. And a Marnie on top of that, so yeah. <laughs> This, these Marnies are brutal, man. Ah, these Marnies are super brutal. At least we can sacrifice one of the Victinis, I guess. Yeah, this guy heals up some damage. We do have Pat to the Peak again, but uh, <laughs> it's looking pretty grim right now. How in the world do we get Marnied into like the, the most garbage hands in the world? Yeah, the, the, this ability makes sure all of our heat fire energies are very bad. They are very bad. Okay, we have Marnie. Patch to the peak. Rugged helmet. Crushing hammer. Uh, I just hope we can knock this guy out. Come on, energy and Victini V Max. <laughs> we have the Victini V Max, but unfortunately, we do not have. Yeah, this is a bad hand. We, we can just sacrifice a Victini here, I guess. Spreading Flames. Triple Energies. One. Two. And three. Because if we would have used uh, the Heat Fire Energy over here, he would have totally annihilated us. And this guy does find himself... Ooh, he does have Air Balloon here. And a research on top, well, he has great cards, that's for sure. He can move around all of his energies, that's for sure. We need to make sure we can knock this guy, we can knock all the energies off, right? How many energies are in there? One Aurora. He uses research, so if he goes for that, we can return an energy. Saucer. We can return an energy. Saucer again, well, that's crazy. This is a very impactful game. Yeah, we can put that on the bottom of the deck with a fan of waves. Okay, he's going to attack with the other Derulodon. Just to switch out. G-Max Pulverization. Fine. Put an energy in the opponent's hand. Hmm. Aurora energy? He's definitely going to be reattaching it. But we have Marnie as well, but I don't want to use Marnie here. I want to use the Fan of Waves if we have access to it. Or Crushing Hammer. Crushing Hammer is even better. Evolution Incense. Victini VMAX. This guy takes a lot of prize cards. He already has energies in play. We really need to dig for resources right now. Yeah, not gonna take this Victini. Victini could actually help out. How many boss swords did he use already? Only one, okay. Research time. <laughs> well, sometimes you have hands like this. Max victory? I guess. Yeah, we only need to take take three more prize cards, right? So we have bosses or so I think we win, right? Didn't even realize that we, we only needed to take three more prize cards, it's fine. We have unless he Marnies us, he already used two Marnies. We should be doing Ozama Zenta. Yeah, that's not gonna be mattering too much if we have bosses or in hand. Brown Zong. Yeah, this is quite interesting. We didn't even find our crushing hammers. How many crushing hammers do we play? We play four. We only have one. 
Okay. There's the Zamazenta. Here he goes. And we have used uh, zero boss disorder, so the chance of us... I don't know if he has Marnie in hand. Only one card in hand. Please don't Marnie us. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. This guy is gonna go down thanks to Victini. Victini is ready to eat up some V Pokemon. Let's go. Well played. You have a good deck. But Victini is better. Kacha! <laughs> yeah. How cool. Victini plays very well. Very well. Sometimes like, I was afraid of like the skyscraper ability, so we already knew that we didn't have to attach our special energies. And that actually and spreading flames was very uh very clutch for sure. Came in very good. Like setting up another Victini, like two Victinis were set up at, at the same time. How cool was that? And we got ourselves a cool looking Eldegoss. Because it is on the Versus ladder right now. If you're looking for Eldegoss, now is the, your chance. If you still don't have one, easy to get one. Okay, two matches out of the way, what's next? This deck is like, you always have a great start with the Victini, so you don't have like a bad starting Pokemon. Ah, uh, again, not going first. Don't like that. I really want to go first, because Victini going first is insane. They are still deciding who goes first, but in the post-rotation format, I think almost all the decks go first. So let's just hope we find ourselves something great to work with. Not a bad hand, I like this hand. Attachment. We can also like uh, go for quick bulk, get narrow of energy, and get like two Victini set up in the same turn. It's not a bad idea, to be honest. Okay, or just instantly go for attach pass is also an option because we already have evolution and sense where that one came from. We're up against I think Zacian Zamazenta something. It's also very popular, which means Victini is gonna get more popular. It's always like the meta goes always back and forth. Cape of Toughness, we don't care about that one. Probably not playing uh, metal coding energies. Zamazenta on top of it. Okay, an Intrepid Sword as well. Okay, in this situation, Quick Ball getting rid of an energy. Finding ourselves Victini. Victini. Attach. We can go for like disruption cards, but I don't know if it's necessary. I don't know if it's necessary. I don't want to throw this away as well, so maybe this is a good situation. And maybe we research to find something like Crushing Hammer. It's not a bad idea, right? It's definitely not a bad idea. <laughs> we have the Evolution Incense, not going to be too impactful. I'm gonna be selecting one of these. There we go. Two Victini set up. I'm not afraid of a metal deck like this. We have boss swords in hand. Pokey Gear Marnie. Okay, we don't have boss swords in hand, but there's still three boss swords where that came from. And he's just gonna go loco with his um, Zamazenta walling. Sounds okay to me. Pokey. We can just have Victini set up. We still have two Victini sitting in the bench, so we can. If we find Bosses orders, we can gust this guy. Right? Then he's not able to use Intrepid Swords, not finding Metal Saucers. It's gonna be good. Problem is going through all of these Zamazentas. We, of course, have. How many energies do we need in order to knock this guy out? He probably will need energies on top of it, so as soon as he has one energy attached, yeah, as soon as he has two energies attached, we knock him out, right? Or otherwise, if a team needs three energies. One, yeah, that's all he does. Okay. <laughs> they concede. They see the writing on the wall. We had Victini. There was no way he could have won that one. Probably would have evolved one of our Pokemon, knocked out the Zacian, and then slowly attached energies to a Victini V. We had more boss swords than the Zamazentas with Cry in a corner. Probably. So uh, the deck runs through the versus letter like nothing you've ever seen before. Victini VMAX. Oh, dear. now we win the coin flip. Cool looking Raikou coin, by the way. Come on. Victini, energy, and maybe an evolution nonsense in hand on top of it will work, will work miracles. Triple Pokemon. Could this be Pikachu VMAX? Could it be? Could it be? 
Okay, we have a great opening hand, if I say so myself. Opponent uh, takes Brazilian mulligans. That's insane. It's Bolton. Pat to the peak. Heat fire energy. Quick ball. Finding ourselves another Victini V. I'm not gonna slap it down just yet, though. I'm not gonna slap it down just yet. Fika Vault, item lock. It probably will not have item lock instantly. There would escape of toughness. We really need to find if tool jammers in here. Tool jammer is super impactful. If we get another heat fire energy in the Victini V Max, we'll have 350 freaking HP. If they use speed lightning energies, we have fan of waves, by the way. Okay, nothing else going around. It's fine. Uh, this, this, quick ball. I don't think we'll need multiple Victini, so I'm actually just gonna get rid of this. I might as well slap down another one. He might trap one of these, but then we can go for spreading flames, it's fine. Research! Okay, here's Victini VMAX. Unfortunately, not enough to take care of the Boltant that is in our way. But we do have bosses orders here. Max victory. As one point, if we have the tool jammer, we can gust him up and then he's knocked out. At least that's good. I don't even know if it's in the deck, by the way. Oh, a couple of uh, pre release promo flaffies appear. How many energies in this car? About zero. Well, 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 well. Uh, I think I will take down this uh, fella over here. I really want to check first. We have a lot of great cards attachment here. Uh, I'm actually gonna get rid of the Pat to the Peak. I'm gonna scout out if Tool Jammer is in here. Tool Jammer is in there, okay, fine. So for now, we just take down the Vika Vault. And then we can take this down with just uh, the one and only. Um, let's go for P Pookie Gear, Amarni. You just can find Tool Jammer, right? Let's go, Max Victory. The Vika Vault is gone, so Item Lock is also uh, out of the table. <laughs> or knocked off the table. We have research. I'm actually gonna dig very, very deeply to find Tool Jammer. If he promotes Bolton, he's knocked out. Could have gone after a flat, but everybody concedes. Victini, what are you doing? Victini is nasty. A nasty Victini deck running through the versus ladder. Now I understand. So a uh, big shout out to Study from Australia once again. This deck is awesome to play with. Didn't even have to rely on crushing hammers because uh, the deck is just too good. The problem is that sometimes you get Marnie into a ridiculously bad hand because you have to rely on Pokegear, you don't have like Drizzle uh, engines by your side. Let's go again! Come on, give us a VMAX deck. Eternatus or... Ah, this is a... It's an okay-ish hand. We have Pokegears, we have Tool Jammers. <laughs> yeah, this is actually something I needed against that Bolton, by the way. If we're up against Derulodon again, this is bad. We'll see what happens. Come on, Jamazenta! Okay. Attach. Pass. Tool jammer. Tool jammer. This is already great. And the reason for that is that we can already start poking some damage. Okay, there's a Zacian once again. Uh, we've, we've been to that matchup before. We can go for capture energy. I don't even know if we should go for Capture Energy because we can still go for Energy Burst and try to two-shot the Zamazenta. Oh, it's a Bronzong box. EXP share going down on the Bronzor. Yo. I think I will go for... If we top that Evolution Incense, lots of V Pokemon already. Two prizes, two prizes, one prize. So I'm not afraid of the Zamazenta whatsoever. Come on, give us... Victini VMAX or Evolution and Sons. Heart of the Cards. Let's go. It's a Marnie. It is a Marnie. This guy can swap around energies and stuff. I'm not afraid of this. We do have lots of ways to go about. I think I will just go for a Marnie. Although this guy could potentially donk us, which is also something I don't want to see. Capture energy. Victini number two. And a Marnie, yeah. Definitely a Marnie with that huge hand size. Let's go! Well, now we are in a strange situation. 
Uh, we just married ourselves into nothing. Ah, dang it. What is this? Cannot even go for spreading flames. For each energy attached to both active Pokemon. So at this point, we have 30, 60, 90. If we attach, we just do 90 damage. He cannot attach to Zamazenta just yet. We have Fan of Wave. <laughs> we are in a situation where... Okay, we can knock this guy out. It's fine. Marnie, thank you. Arigato. Because our hand was actually filled with energies. That's bad. We have a boss of orders. We have a research. Either way... Saucer ring party. I wonder where he's gonna be putting the energies. He can put them safely onto a bronze but then he's gonna lose his energies. We have Bossosaurus, which is super, super scary. Uh, yeah, metal transfer. I, I'm gonna see where he puts his energies, though. I wonder. EXP share also make sure he can uh, get the energy back on the Bronzor. Okay. This again. All right. No energies in the discard pal. This guy is weak to fire. He surely is. He surely is. Uh, I'm actually gonna take down the Bronzong first. Let's go. I wonder if he's gonna have saucer attachment. That would be pretty scary. Maybe that was a risky move, by the way. Yeah, the only thing he needs is like saucer. Saucer and energy. But he already has so many energies in play. One, two, three. Huge hand size as well. Maybe that was bad. Zation number two. Six, inner, six cards in hand. Attachment onto the other Zation. That's cool. Yeah, that was a risky move, getting rid of that Bronzong. Oh, sir. Sir, sir Chester Bath. That means we survive a hit from a Brave Blade, by the way. Alright. Uh, a Marnie or a Research. Right now we have four energies attached. If we find boss, we can knock out Ozation, right? Yeah, it's just Research. Just classic Research. I think I will go for Capture Energy here. Yeah. If we just attach another energy over here, we knock this guy out. Ha. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Maybe we Marnie instead. And then attach an energy over here and knock this guy out. Sounds like a great plan to me. He, he slaps 230. We have the heat fire. Maybe we just go for research, find another heat fire or something. Let's go. Yeah, there we go. This Victini is getting more bulkier by the minute. Energy burst. Let's rock. 220. We are still not here, but we have a lot of HP. At least that's good. And now we're just on simply attached to the Victini there. And we still have three bosses orders where those came from. Saucer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this lone Victini is going to go through all of them. <laughs> okay, he does find his Crystal Cave. Still will not matter because we have 40 additional HP, which means we not we don't survive the Brave Blade. Copycat. We have 230 HP right now. Yeah, I, I thought this is going to be the Sir Chester Bad that would remain, but no, nothing. Oh, even having the coding metal energy broken. Well, it's time for a uh, crushing hammer party. <laughs> I actually Needed the thing long and hard. I didn't even know he was playing different amount of stadiums, but yeah. I overthink I overtaught this process. It's not a big issue. We just attach an energy over here. We go for how many energies are in here? One. We can get two energies attached instantly. Ta ta! Finding another Victini. Ta ta! Evolution incense. Victini V Max. Rocked helmet and spreading flames. Chaka chaka. Two energies. One here. This guy probably has a switch out. <laughs> I'm 100% certain he has a switch out. So that means this guy could get knocked out. So maybe we just play it safely and just attach on the Victini here. 
Yeah, if we drop back in energy, it's fine either way. If we get knocked out, it's fine either way. We do slap 220. The Cape of Toughness has been put onto the Zamazenta instead. So, uh, we are in an awkward situation where the opponent was able to take the better <laughs> the better scenario here. We punish down the Bronzong, which not helps out. doesn't help out in the prize race at, at all. And the problem is, yeah, we still have a lot of bosses orbs, which is good. Oh boy, will we be able, okay, there's a bronze or he will be able to move around his energy saucer on top of it. <laughs> I'm afraid of, oh, there's a Marnie. Both of our Victini V Max is going down to the bottom of the deck. Luckily, we still have three evolution and sense where those came from, as well as some research which are in the deck. Oof, there they go, there they go. This guy is getting a heal up his Zamazenta, super annoying. But it is what it is. He could retreat. He could just switch out. Sure. Bam. Okay, we need to go into the VMAX right now. There's no other way. Oh boy. This has turned into quite the crazy predicament. And we really need to find all of our boss's orders. Yo, are we gonna be able to do it? The Victini VMAX is here. I think we still have access to one Victini V. Yeah, I think so. So uh, Victini VMAX is here. Path to the peak. We probably will draw into a Victini V. I'm very scared to slap it down just yet, but... We'll see how it goes. Max victory. 440 freaking damage. <laughs> Team Yalgrand, okay. We can use Team Yalgrand to get rid of that metal coating energy if he puts a Cape of Toughness onto his Asian. I really hope he does that. On the other hand, there is of course the annoying Zamazenta here, which we cannot take down unless we find Pokey Gear or Pulse's Orders. Interesting scenario for sure. Bronzong here. Yeah, he's just gonna poke with Zamazanta, is he? Yeah, that's super nasty. We need to find bosses or this turn and bosses or next turn as well. Avery? <laughs> I haven't seen Avery at all. That's crazy. Attachment onto the Zamazanta. Zamazanta still healing. He's playing a lot of Crystal Caves here, as well as a Sir Chester Bat. I thought he was only playing Sir Chester Bat. My game plan would have been entirely different. This last game was not showcasing the true power of Victini, but it's okay. We showcased it in the other matches, so already glad that happened. Where are the energies going to? Okay, Zamazenta. 130 damage output. Zation number two. We still have access to three crushing hammers as well. 130. This is scary because Zacian is gonna be able to KO us. Yeah, he can retreat. Yeah, we're we're done for, I guess. That's just well played. There's nothing we can do about that because if we we cannot go through the Zamazenta, we have we don't have Phoebe. We can return an energy, but then he just retreats and reaccelerates. He has Bronzong, and this guy finishes us off. That's just well played. Nothing we can do about that. No, no, don't even have to uh, do anything. Wow, that was interesting. Also, I miscalculated on the Zamazenta part. We did like 220. I thought the Sir Chester Bat would stick around. It didn't. Over prediction was a little bit much on that side. So let's just play one more game with Victini. See how uh, we fare against some other... This actually was pretty tacked out. It had uh, metal coating energies. Lots of Zamazentas. Let's go again. Victini VMAX. Alright, let's do this. Okay, give us another VMAX archetype. This is not a bad hand. I like it. Attachment, having the Victini VMAX, having the first turn path to the peak. This is a great opening hand. Come on. 
And we are up against Dragapult, easy peasy. They have special energy, span of waves will be super impactful. Dragapult has to tree shot us, we don't have a lot of bench Pokemon. This is going to be quite painful, I think. Unless they Marnie us into a brick hand. Come on. Double crushing hammer on top of this as well. So attachment onto the Victini. Moving forward with a pat to the peak. Maybe slapping down another Victini V. He could like gust this guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait with this Victini V. This seems okay to me. Hammer, hammer, evolve, KO. He could bite for 30 damage. He could switch to a Subble, go for keep calling. He already attaches to the uh, Dracapult. I didn't want to have another bench Pokemon because otherwise the damage of the... Uh, what attack was it from Dracapult? Marnie? Yeah. I hate Mar Marnie is like this, man. Our hand was super good. Still super good. <laughs> Unless we don't draw into an energy. <clears throat> Come on, energy! Energy is here. That's uh, how you need to play the game, man. Capture energy. Uh, do we get another one? We just have a lot of boss orders, so that's cool. <laughs> that's very cool. Not gonna get out anything. Instead, it's time for VMAX party. Victini, annihilate. Yes, two prizes. Marnie and Victini. <laughs> Victini V Max, man. She cheesing out games since 2020. Or was it? Was it the set that came out in 2021? Yeah, it does. Cheesing games since 2021. Get out your Dragapult. We're eagerly waiting to just wreck him. That's how the deck works, by the way. Drizzle, and we still have X. We only play. Look at our discard pile. One evolution incense, two prize cards. Insane. Okay, Marnie again. It's Marnie again. Saturday, Sunday. What? It's Marnie again. Uh, we still have Poke Gear, so I'm not too worried. We still have two bosses or where those came from. A couple of Drizzle appear. The problem will be as soon as he gets the Dracapult VMAX out. But on the other hand, we have four freaking crushing hammers as well. A bunch of subbles. And there's another Marnie. So both bosses are always going down to the bottom of the deck is something we don't want to see. Luckily, we might draw into research. Okay. Yeah, these are all cards we don't need. Marnie. Research so we can find crushing hammers. That's also a way we can deal with this fella. Rocked helmet. Hammer time. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hammer time. Yeah, it does not work out. That's like, that's like bad. Max victory. How bad was that, man? Another energy. So many energies going down to the discard pile. It's unreal. And now we two shot the Dragapult VMAX. It's also a way we can win. Quick shooting. That's 130. Quick shooting is going to be to 150. Still, yeah, he still needs a two shot regardless. And we have Fan of Waves. And our hammers are bad. Coin flip cards, man. You gotta love it. If we would have hang on to our bosses or this guy would not even exist right now. But knocking out a Drizzle and then knocking out. Yeah, scoop up net. Mm-hmm. Two Marnies down the drain. He could Marnie us again. Probably should have slapped down our Victini V by now, but it's fine that it's not on the bench right now because that means his 50 damage output is not working out too well now. Evolution Incense. Here comes Dracapult V Max. If only one hammer would have worked out. If only. Here comes quick shooting. Kachaka. Quick shooting on top of uh, a Marnie, okay? I'm afraid of this Marnie because I know what Marnies are capable of. We At least we have a quick ball and a crushing hammer. 
Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately we do not have do not have a supporter, which is bad. Uh, return an energy to their hand. Yeah, I think I will return this one because we have fan of waves and crushing hammers. Okay, first of all, quick ball, getting rid of the quick ball. Victini V. Crushing hammer. Why? Triple tails. Triple tails. Evolution incense. We still have zero uh, two evolution incense where those came from but i want to maximize our chances of drawing into a supporter so let's just go for poking gear team yell grunt or boss's orders <laughs> taking two prize cards let's go for the team yell grunt activate max victory Ksha! At least we are safe from an attack. We are safe from an attack. This guy seems to be stuck. He could like he touches again to the Dracopult here. Could slap 60 with double quick shooting. It's still not not a not not a knockout, okay. Okay, the only thing we are concerned about oh there's a strat. What? Uh, okay. Well, we just knock you out, right? Well played, I guess. That was awkward. We, there we go. Victini wins again. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of Victini V Max. If you did, be sure to let me know by destroying the hell out of the like button. Helps out in ridiculous ways. It only takes a second of your time. So, uh, I would highly appreciate it if you do so. Also, go check out our sponsors, PoTownStore.com, the best place for TCGO code cards. You can use that coupon code ZAPDOSTCG over at Town Store for 5% uh, of your order. Get yourself the codes you want for Evolving Skies, promo codes, Zation, Eternus, Dragapult, Crobat, uh, Urshifus. They have everything. Be sure to check them out. Also, Jolteon VMAX and stuff. Also, uh, go check out cardmarket.com if you're a European player. You can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every day. It's very nice to just uh, scout out cards that you want to see how the price fluctuates over time. And uh, be sure to check out uh, yourplaymat.com as well. Uh, by clicking the link down below, you can get 10% of your order and uh, you can actually create your own unique custom playmat for the new season. And uh, yeah, that's very fantastic because they ship worldwide. What are you waiting for? Have yourself a fantastic rest of the day. Try out Victini VMAX. It's very, very nasty. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.